we cut the Marlon ST multi-walled polycarbonate sheet, it's imperative that we blow out the flutes to ensure that there's no sawdust or plastic swarf in the flutes. Having done that, we then apply a solid tape to the top of the sheet. That's the sheet nearest to the wall or the top nearest to the wall and a vented tape where the sheet is running into the guttering end. This helps to protect the sheet from any water ingress and a panel will look like this. We'll have the solid tape at the top end, run straight across the top of the sheet, very easily applied. It just clips down like that. And on the bottom of the sheet, we have the grey vented tape. This allows for the uh, air in the sheet to expand and to escape from the vented end of the sheet. To protect that, where it's running into the guttering, we have a U-profile, and this U-profile very simply clips up over the vented tape and protects it from moisture. In conjunction with that, when the sheets are in position, we have the capping bar. Capping bars are available in both white and brown finish. They are pre-drilled. They come 40 millimeter wide and 60 millimeter wide. So in assembling the roof, we will have the rafter gasket, which will be sitting down on a jointing rafter. And a jointing rafter is where we have two sheets coming side by side. We allow for an expansion on the sheet. So as the sheet heats up during the day and cools down by night, the sheet will expand and contract due to the coefficient of linear expansion. And it's imperative that you leave a 10 to 12 millimeter gap between the two sheets. The capping bar comes across the joint and the fixing screws, usually 60 millimeter long wood screws, are placed into the pre-drilled holes and tighten down into position. Again, it's imperative that you don't over tighten the sheet and allow for some expansion and contraction. Finally, on the gable end of the sheet, there is an aluminium F profile, which is finishes and fixes the gable ends of the sheet. For intermediary rafters, those rafters where sheets are not being butted edge to edge and there is no need for a capping bar to be used, the simple use of a fixing button will cover the job. Pre-drill a hole 18 millimeter in diameter. This is to allow for the expansion of the sheet. A small bead of silicone, neutral curing. Please remember it must be neutral curing silicone as acetoxy silicones may in fact intact the polycarbonate sheet. A small bead of neutral curing silicone into the hole. The foam gasket is fixed are inserted inside of the ring. The lug is placed into the hole. The screw goes down in place. And then the whole thing is drilled down into position. Do not over tighten the screw. Break off the lug. Place a small amount of silicone on the screw head and insert the cap. When the sheeting is in position and the roof is almost completed, it is necessary to achieve a water seal or water tight seal between the wall of the house and the multi-walled polycarbonate sheet. This is achieved by using a butyl backed lead flashing, which is available in white or indeed in lead color. It's very easily uh, adhered to the sheet and to the wall and with the butyl backing it makes it a very simple process as opposed to having, having to chase the wall using standard lead. As an alternative to using the butyl flashing to obtain a secure watertight seal between the sheet and the house wall you can use the alternative of a complete wall flashing profile a rafter gasket is placed on the wall plate 
The sheet is placed up onto the rafter gasket. The aluminium profile is brought into place, flush with the wall, sitting down onto the sheet and screwed into position. And this will achieve a professional finish. Some neutral curing silicone is placed between the wall and the aluminium profile and the profile is screwed to the sheet.